Okay, we have, in the previous episode, we went to the liver tree, and we battled a large tree monster there. Now, it claimed to have had contact with Kuja and was responsible, to some degree, for the creation of the mist and its dissemination around the world. We destroyed it, and that effectively stopped, as far as we can tell, all of the mist production on this world. Now that doesn't really have too much of a change over on this continent, but it will have a rather profound impact on the environment over in, uh, over in the mist continent. Oh no. I forget what this is. I might have to cheat and look this up. Oh, you want ore. I think I have that. Here you go. Here you go. I'm gonna assume you're gonna want even more than that. There we go. A lot of AP out of that. Wow. Look at Eco. Went and got all these different things. And an emerald. Sweet. So everything may have changed over in the Mist Continent. Now that is. Obviously a good thing if you think about it in a certain way. Um, the mist was rather a horrible thing that happened to the world and it caused a lot of wars. But also you gotta think realistically, now if this were a serious situation, I'd have to think about this kind of thing before making a decision to do what they did. And that would be to take into consideration the fact that much of the infrastructure and economy and all that kind of stuff over on the mist continent was based around the idea that the mist was there when the mist stops being there well uh, who knows what's gonna end up happening uh, I guess thunder is what I really want here But no mist means our airships are not going to work. If our airships aren't going to work, that's going to... Well, it's going to cause some problems with the world. Now, obviously, the reason why the airships were necessary was mostly because of how dangerous traveling on foot through the mist was. So, remove the mist and you sort of remove some of that nece uh, the necessity of airship travel. But, you know, you have to think a little bit about how this may not have been a just a 100% good thing that we did for the world. But like I said, I am overanalyzing the situation. That's not really something we're going to be dealing with too much in this storyline. Something that we do have here that is quite obvious is the situation with Vivi. Now, Vivi was aware that he is an artificial life form created out of the mist at this point. He is also aware that all of the other black mages are created in the same fashion, and if the mist stopped, there may be no more black mages. Now on one hand, he is essentially dooming that race to an extinction. On the other hand, it they were born into slavery. Very few of them ever managed to escape from that and they have a tendency to have a short lifespan anyway. So, it's sort of mixed between those two emotions of was this really a good thing or was this a bad thing? All of that. Now, the way Vivi is dealing with this is also rather interesting. In a game which is largely devoid of sort of good characterization, Vivi comes across as sort of the lone example of a proper deep character in this 
storyline. Vivi is essentially a child. Now, we, uh, we don't know exactly how old he is, but he is a child. He has the mentality of a child and all that kind of stuff. And here he is being caught up in this situation, being required to participate in in this kind of thing and make choices regarding his entire race that he is not emotionally mature enough to handle. And we're seeing it, seeing it take a toll on him, a character which is mostly just essentially being portrayed as a cute kid pretty much, is now sort of having all of these incredibly negative thoughts and sort of self-reflection. He's ambivalent about what he's done, and it's <laughs> it's surprising for a character that young to have to go through all this kind of stuff. It's kind of depressing on top of that. What the hell's going on now? Didn't realize there was a treasure chest there. Uh, I'm not sure where she went. I'm going to assume she went this way. That would be a no. She went to her house. Where are you? All right, let's go. Oh. Hey, I got a new item. Is that anything useful? Ah, uh, lowers magic defense, but this other crap goes up. It occurs to me that I should have used a tent while I was outside. I would have, um restored my HP and all that kind of crap. Kind of, uh, gonna be at a disadvantage if anything good happens here. Ever since that boss battle.
Oh, alright. We're good. I already have that. Okay, it's a battle we have going here. Now this red-haired man just showed up. Sort of, in a manner of speaking, sort of saved us from Lonnie and then... Like, I'm gonna fight you now. Dude's out of his damn mind, obviously. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight, so yeah. Scarlet hair, that's what we're calling him. Poison Knuckles. So it's going to be progress along slower than what you considered your average battle with, you know, the four characters. Okay. I got two items off of them, so now I can just beat the hell out of them. 
Ah, man, he's dealing out some hits. If I remember correctly, this fight shouldn't be too hard. Although, all of the, the beating I took in the beginning kind of uh, lowered my HP a bit more than I wanted. Come on, use the damn potions so we can get along, get on with this. Oh man, sluggish. Just hit him. Dealing a lot more damage than he is, but enemies in these games have a tendency to have a much higher HP in relation to their damage potential than your characters do, so that doesn't always mean anything. I better uh, go back to healing. I could be two attacks away from being defeated here, and he just demonstrated an ability to attack twice in a single turn, or twice in the amount of time I'd had for one turn. Better be careful. Said he wanted to level the playing field or even it out or whatever. This, this could not possibly be what he meant. <laughs> Although he did seem to have some certain level of like personal honor about this whole thing, considering that he um, he turned on Lonnie because she took Ego hostage, and you know I guess that didn't sit very well with him. She had better healing items and high potions. Takes forever to, to work. This battle's got to be getting pretty close to its conclusion. Oh man, of course it is. Of course it is, and I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Uh, if he keeps attacking me like that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna trance and then I'll take him out. But you know, I burned through a lot of high potions in the process. Nope, nope, battle's still going. Uh, one or two more attacks, and I should be in trance. That was a counter attack. Haha! <laughs> Missed. Ah, it was full damage there. Even, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Did not expect him to counterattack. <laughs> My HP got kinda low there. Come on, trance already. There we go. Here we go. This will take him out. Yeah.
Ha! Ah.